Greetings, Grey Witch here. Today we're going to do Stocks and Scares. This is a Lester mission, level 70. And I'm going to show you the absolute best way to do this mission. But the one thing you are going to need is you're going to need a tank to do this. And I know before you get all crazy and you're like, oh man, a tank and whatnot, you can do everything that I'm about to do with the Armored Garuma, but you're not going to make as much RP and you're going to waste a lot more money on ammo. So. Even with the tank, this mission is challenging. There's hacking, there's safe cracking, and you know there's an unlimited amount of Meriwether soldiers coming at you the whole time. So let's get this started. All right, so when you start this mission, it's gonna spawn you right up here in the front, just about, where are we at? Right here on the other side of this little booth right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna drive back to where I was, and you wanna call in your tank and that way it'll deliver it right here and then you can just you know, climb in the tank you don't have to drive it over here or any of that it's already right here so that's a plus already next I go into first person when I drive the tank I find it a lot easier to drive especially with shooting and driving at the same time and especially in little tight areas so you got this first guy right here just blow him up don't even worry about it I mean you are in a tank but still there's gonna be a lot of stuff you gotta do so you come up here, wait for these little gates to open. You got this guy right here in front of him. Just, you know, blow him up. Let the great rumpus begin because now everybody's shooting him. Now when you shoot over here, you want to try to get that car to go into the water like that. So now you can start concentrating on killing all these other people. And the reason you want to do that to the car is you want to knock it out of the way. That way you don't have to deal with it when you move your tank up there. That way you can get in close. So just pick off these guys, you know, you can move up. I'm just basically just picking off the scragglers. Alright, let's get this guy behind me. Let him get up close to the gate. Take that guy out. Alright. Keep shooting up in here. And I mean, these guys are going to continuously respawn. So, it's an unlimited amount. So they're just going to continuously keep coming. And that's why... I use the tank. And since there's an unlimited amount, you can kind of RP farm this and you know, just continuously kill these guys and make you know a pretty decent amount of RP. You're not gonna you know kill it because it, it, they don't respawn instantly. They do take a little while to come back up. So you want to you know if you're gonna sit here, you're gonna eat up some time. You, know, you just sit here and just keep killing these guys and just making you know, 25 RP every time. And, you know, if this was double cash and double RP, this mission, you're really going to kill it with the RP. And see, I mean, you could pull the Karuma all the way up here, but you're going to have to fight all these guys. You're going to have to you know, get out of the car to really use your weapons well, and you're going to eat up a lot of ammo. So using the tank, just, you know, it eliminates the whole need for ammo because you're just killing all these guys. Hey, look who showed up. All right, so we got that guy. And then, I mean, they're just going to continuously keep pouring in. So you just work your way up here, you know. It's a little bit tight, but you can get up here. And, you know, just pick these guys off. And this, you can just, you know, sit here, just keep doing this, and just make it more and more RP. And if you have your Karuma, I mean, you'd be just doing the same thing. You pull right up here. And when you get a good clear spot, when there's nobody outside the door right there that I'm aiming at, then you want to run upstairs and start the next part of the mission. So you just keep killing these guys and killing them, you know, until you get tired of it. Oh, and you definitely want to make sure you blow up that container thing right there before you go upstairs. Alright, so when you're ready to finally, you know, finish the rest of this mission, just jump out in the tank. You definitely want to make sure there's a clear, you know, good clear run to run up. And all the guys are going to come through that doorway right there. So you want to really hurry up and get up these stairs real fast so you can start doing the hacking. Alright, so you get up here push, you know, to start hacking, and then Rockstar just has it to where you just stand there like an idiot for a couple seconds looking at the keypad, and then you'll start doing it. 
Now these are pretty simple, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You gotta run the hack connect. With this one right here, I just look for the two numbers that are in the center of the four numbers, the 2253. It's the easiest way to find it. And then move right on to the next one. This one, you know, real easy, just, you know, move over slowly. The guys aren't gonna start attacking you unless you start taking a long time. And once you finish this, you definitely wanna be ready with a shotgun. So you hit this one right here, and you want to immediately move over to the left side. Get your shotgun ready, because you're going to come up these stairs right here, and then just start slowly picking these guys off. And you want to be on this side of the door, because there's a guy behind you, hiding behind a box, who can shoot you if you don't. So I just take my time, let these guys run up here, take them out with a shotgun, and just you know, let it roll. There's a couple more coming. That one, wing the other one. All right, now he's down. Now you can deal with the guy that's coming up that's behind you. Now he's hid right behind that big wooden crate. Sometimes you can usually just pop him off right there like that. Ah, I missed him. Oh, look at that. I totally messed that up. But, you know, you got the idea. Now there's three guys inside this room. The first one you can usually shoot right here through the window like this. I winged him so he fell down. So you gotta kind of wait for him to stand back up and then get him. Now, you don't want to move up too fast because there's another guy right there and he changes sides which side he moves up on. So it's kind of, he went up on that side. So now you got him and then there's one more guy. Uh, you just get up close, just do a combat roll. When he stands up, boom, shoot him in the face. Now, if you have any guys coming in behind you, get up right behind this crate where the other guy was and just you know, take him out as they come through the door. Right now, I'm lucky. So I'm going to run in here and I'm going to start doing the safe cracking. So you just want to run up, go left first. And as soon as the controller starts to really get mumbling, you know, rumbling, all you have to do is just, you know, let go of it right then and then just move it back the other way. Then go back the other direction like this, wait for it to start rumbling, give it a little tap if it's not quite there, come back the other direction. Same thing. This is pretty simple. I mean, it's like your locker in high school. When this pops open, now all you want to do is you want to come right over here and sit. And this way, you can put on your armor, get your snacks up, because you got four or five guys that are going to come up through that hallway you just came through, and they're going to come in fast. So you really want to take them down pretty quick. So just. As soon as they get up here, they're going to start moving in real quick. And there's the first guy. And with this guy as he comes through the door. And that last guy right there. Now you can go take out this last guy right through the, from the doorway. Alright, so that guy's taken care of. Now we just got to go down the stairs carefully because all the guys that are down there have officially respawned. There's going to be one guy that's right back here. I'm showing you where you're shooting. He's not right there now, but he will be once you get to the bottom of the stairs. You could jump over that railing right there, but there is another guy down here. And if you do, there's a pretty good chance he's going to end up shooting you in the face. This one right here just shot me. And that right there is exactly why you want to blow up that tank because I locked onto him, but I, that tank was there. And I have shot it before and died, so that sucks. We'll take out this guy back here. And we'll run up to the tank. And climb back in. Take out the rest of these guys. Now, you could still sit here and farm this a little bit more if you wanted to. Just kill, you know. Because there's going to still be a bunch more guys coming, so you can just sit right here. But, you know, like I said, they don't respawn real fast, so it does take a long time in between, in between them showing back up. So, I mean, this mission takes a long time as it is, so you really don't want to spend a whole bunch of time just, you know, farming RP. Alright, so when you're ready, you just want to back up real carefully and don't go into the water, because that'll suck. spin around and just follow your tracks right back out the way you came in and you'll get right out just real easy. Just 
come right back out this way, which would, you know, this would all be the same way you would do this with the Kuruma, except, you know, you'd have less RP, spent a lot more ammo. Now, if I was going to do this with the Kuruma, I wouldn't do this next part, but since I'm in the tank, I'm going to come down here and take out the rest of those guys who were over here on this one side. Because, you know, why not? There's not many of them, there's just a couple of guys out there, you know, why not? I mean, you're in a tank, you got time, just, you know, kill these guys that are right here. Sometimes if you shoot in this window right here, you can get a couple of them too. Huh, that was pretty cool. Alright. So, we'll now continue with the rest of this mission. Be careful not to drop into the water. Scoot this out of the way. All right, so now you have a few more guys that are coming after you, and as soon as you cross this gate right here and pass this little gatehouse, there's gonna be four SUVs with two guys in each one of them. Just, you know, wait for them to show up and just take them out. There's the first one, there's the second one, third one, and there's the fourth one. 18 wheeler behind me he's pushing me so all right so now all you have to do is drive to Lester's warehouse I say since you're in a tank you know have fun blow stuff up you're not gonna get cops so you know just have some fun so then you know all you have to do is just get it in here and deliver the briefcase to Lester and this mission takes a long time to do regardless so you are gonna make the full payout on it and the full RP, which is pretty decent. I mean, it's a lot of work if you do this without a tank, but with the tank, it's a lot better because you figure right here, I spent $200 for the tank, 218 on ammo, I got 66 kills at $225 RP a piece. It's a bunch of RP. All right, it's Grey Witch. I hope this helps you out and I'll see you next time. Peace.